Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this uh, tutorial, I want to show you how you can make a uh, parametric noise on mesh uh, using the Nautilus plugin. Uh, as you can see here, I can uh, change the scale, a seed, which I'm going to explain here, and also a minimum maximum displacement. And we will have this as a mesh output. We can bake that in Rhino and use it in our project. Uh, I've also made an advanced example file which is going to uh, have advanced techniques and at the end we're going to smooth that mesh two parts uh, projected on a sphere. Uh, as you can see here it's going to be something like this. So those bumps are going to be converted into two parts the bumps and a sphere and we're going to weld it so I'm going to explain how we can do that. And finally, we can quad remesh this and get this final results in our project. So I'm going to also explain this algorithm in the link down below. Uh, so let me turn uh, everything off and explain it step by step. Uh, okay, first what we want to do is to go to the Nautilus plugin and in the mesh, uh, we have an icosahedron mesh precision. Uh, you can also, uh, preview the mesh edges by display and using this preview mesh edge uh, or hitting the control M. Uh, we can go to the Nautilus plugin and here we have the mesh and icosahedron mesh precision. Uh, the first input here is uh, the plane and I have given this a point so this point is going to be the location of the uh, final mesh. There is a radius, so this radius is going to change the radius of the icosahedron. And there is also a precision, which when we increase, as you can see here. Uh, so if I bake this mesh, here you can see that we have this uh, icosahedron, and uh, these are the faces divided. Okay. Uh, okay, the second tool we're going to use here is a really great tool, which is uh, Nautilus Mesh. And here we go, noise on mesh. And as you can see here, uh, it says that uh, noise like the one in Blender applied on each vertex of a mesh. So first we have to give the mesh uh, as an input, so you can give any mesh uh, you want. So I'm going to turn this off, turn this on. Uh, I'm going to also uh, go to display and turn on the preview mesh edges so you can see the final results. Okay, the scale is uh, actually the scale of the noise you're producing on the mesh, as you can see here. So if you want a better result, you can decrease the tolerance so you have more face edges. And that's going to give you better results. Uh, there's a time which you can connect a number increasing if you want to make it an animation. Uh, for the roughness, there is a number between 0 and 1. As you can see here, it's going to change this black and white pattern on the mesh. And there is a seed which you can produce a random results. The most important thing is that this is going to be a mesh with color, a gray mesh, which is going to be used uh, in the next step. And also there is an output noise, which is going to be, uh, if I hit control M, uh, the noise uh, each of those vertices has on the mesh. So if I zoom in, each uh, vertex of this, if I go to mesh and deconstruct mesh and these vertices and go to tag uh, give the vertices to the location and the text is output noise so if I just bake this uh, I just increase the tolerance so the faces are uh, actually uh, decreased and here you can see that there is 2500 location 2500 text and if I bake it uh, this is the text all of those vertices has, which is the noise we have produced. You can also connect a number here, maybe um, integer, if you want to just see uh, numbers without decimals. So you can see that each vertex has a, a number uh, for the noise it has been produced. Okay, let's go back and uh, delete this part. Uh, okay, the next step is really easy. You just have to go to the mesh and above the noise on mesh, we have this mesh bump. Uh, you have to give the output uh, from this grade mesh to the uh, input. Let me just turn this off and turn this on. 
and uh, to make it uh, more understandable I've just given this a custom preview and just given this a material so for example if I go to the rendered mode you can see it better okay I can also turn off the mesh edges and uh, here you can see that we have the mesh the output noise values is going to go to the values on each vertex and minimum maximum movement in the normal direction so here you can see that I have given this zero and the maximum is also controllable. Uh, you can also flip the white and black pattern so just change the minimum maximum number slider and uh, now we can just uh, play with the scale, the roughness, the seed which is going to produce different results uh, the radius is obviously the radius of the sphere and tolerance is going to make it just uh, smoother because we have more details on the mesh as you can see here uh, it's going to slow down the process but anyway it's worth to get better results and now we can just produce any mesh we want with this seed and play around with the maximum displacement and just produce the different seeds and this is for the final mesh if I go to the shaded mode you can see that this is the result okay thanks for watching if you have any question just ask below and see you next time bye